back in the 90s. 90s is the greatest time period in the history of mankind. <laughs> that's when we peak. Yes. That's true. That's when Seinfeld was coming out. Yeah, dude. <laughs> think about it, right? Think of, Just think about that era. Like Everything was new. Everything was the being created. Music. I mean, think about all the greatest bands. Uh, well, maybe, obviously, you know, the Queens and all that. But, like, if you think about the bands, you think about hip-hop, you think about, like, pop culture, like, it all happened, like, in the 90s. Yeah. I think Pokemon. I would have liked the 60s. Movies? Right? From a the little 90s. van life, ass grass or cash, right? Just spend a, a year or two in your 20s not being productive. Fuck that. I think of that as more pre-90s. The- right now is the best time to be alive. Like, like hey, right man. fucking now. This second. And and tomorrow will be better. And it's going to – it's that hasn't changed. In, a, in so long, whenever they, I love when they show the, um, they'll, they'll poll people. Do you, th- what do you think about crime these days? Oh, it's so much more dangerous than it used mm-hmm, to be. Mm-hmm, and then they show crime mm-hmm. and it's been better every year, forever, every year. Like there might be a, yeah. st- a stutter step, you know, yeah, I'm mm-hmm. sure the pandemic was a weird time where crime went violently down. It's gone up the past few years, it. but overall you're right. Like it's so much lower, I think like, almost everywhere than it was in like the 70s. In like the eight- Early 80s, I was going to say, so we're about... Yeah, like a crime wave in the 80s, right? That's because everyone was just... It was cool. Maybe the 70s, because that's when you had the Charlie Bronson movie, right? Mm -hmm. When uh, they they rape his his wife and daughter. and Warriors is the peak of that stuff to me. That's the scariest thing. You were saying that... uh, Gangs gangs that dress up, like, obviously, you know, I don't know, themable gangs and shit. Um, I don't know. Next, you said (laughs) 90s was the best for movies. What are your top 90s movies oh my god heat one of them for sure um i mean when did starship troopers come out yeah that one's fucking great that's, that's early 2000s that's like um no no 1998 yeah. starship really? troopers 1998 oh are you right or are you guessing i'm guessing you'll be right <laughs> Well, Kyle <laughs> backed off quickly on his claim 1997 well, well, hang on let me let me let me come up with it I, I, I bet it, oh was it 97 yeah uh, i thought i was I, I, went, I watched it with my dad in theaters. I remember yeah. that. I was uh, I would have been 11, I think. I really enjoyed that movie. I'm told it didn't do the books <laughs> justice, but I still liked it. Oh, I thought yeah. it was great. Were you laughing at Taylor? Like, like the adult because you, you, were, you were, no, I was laughing because you're like, 1997, I would have been 11, I think. And it's like, what do you mean you think like it's <laughs> in 86 like yeah, it's a little math there little, you know like like i don't know what month it came out taylor there's a big difference yeah, taylor, a and 11 year old cool your jets, 11, not everyone knows a, 97 minus 86 that's not a thing that people just know no i think it is, <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> it's incalculable i'm pretty sure how puts himself back in the the math knowledge of himself at the time is <laughs> when he, when he here are his, his here track. are other good movies that came out in 1997 okay, okay. Uh, total recall uh, is uh is one I think that was braveheart did braveheart come out in 97 braveheart came out in, yeah uh demolition man with wesley snipes and sylvester stallone um you know, like the Stargate was really good back in the day. I mean, this is all new shit. Not These are all anything. bad, bad movies. Whoa. Was not a bad I've movie. seen them all and I like them all, but I like them because I like nerdy sci-fi. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. aren't, they don't have good acting or they're weak in one like key facet. Like if they were a, a fallout character, you'd be like, Whoa, you skipped intelligence all together. What happened? Mm. Like the, the, the Stargate movie, which I like way better than the, the TV show, which I never got into you got Kurt Russell there. And you got, um, Who's homeboy from Secretary? He's uh anyway, that that good actor. And the premise is cool. They go through this interdimensional portal that they dug up in Egypt that takes you to another planet that is like the father race of the Egyptian um mm-hmm. like culture. So they've got pyramids there too, because they taught the Egyptians how to make pyramids. And so it's it's a sci-fi Egyptian culture on this other planet. And then it gets pretty silly, you know, they, mm-hmm. they immediately somehow are able to communicate with the human slave people there and form an uprising. They arm them. The whole they overthrow the evil Egyptian space people. And then Kurt Russell, the first try. It, it's a little dark though, because it begins with Kurt Russell sitting there about to eat a pistol. <laughs> Cause it, Kurt Russell's son, like I think finds a handgun that's unattended at home mm. and offs himself accidentally, like a seven year old son or some shit. And then Kurt Russell is like army colonel guy about to off himself. And he gets the call. We found an Egyptian interdimensional portal, sir. We need you. And he like 
shakes off ev- all that depression, buttons his fucking uniform up, and goes off with James Spader to another dimension. And no one calls him on it. There's no psychological evaluation. Nothing. They caught him, like, gun in his mouth, and then he was like, like all right, if the, you have a mission right, for I haven't me, seen I'm the in. movie in a coon's age, but the way I remember it is, like, he's about to eat the fucking pistol, and they, like, oh. ring his phone or knock on the door, and he's like, what? I'm busy in here. And they're like, we need you. <laughs> and he just goes hmm. off and... Dude, if he has a gun in his mouth, and like an annoying knock at the door, wouldn't you think he just like just <laughs> like <laughs> ah, just another Start thing? Even I'll with Chris Tucker still, yeah. I'm almost yeah. sure. They don't, I don't think they make movies like they used to. I really don't. I think there's a I think there's a a big algorithm that that has to say yes before the purse strings get untied for a movie that costs a certain amount of money. And it seems like there's not a lot of drive for those movies that are like. 50 to 75 million dollars those like small like not some indie indie flick that's horse shit but also not avengers 87 you know i I, i've seen enough billion dollar movies i'd like to see some i don't know some detective you know nor nor shit or something we don't have enough of that uh, yeah. Event Horizon was one of them. That was also a good sci-fi movie. I've I talk seen about that, that all the time. I've I seen that to watch that. I, I, yeah. I, I, uh, Wait, I, that's the one where where Sam Neill is on the yes. spaceship and yeah. everything starts getting. I don't want to give anything away no, no, because no, no, I no, actually no. know that one and I like it a lot. Yeah. That was a good movie. So Event yeah. Horizon. Then there is uh, Donnie Brasco. The game. What a movie. The game. Great twist in the end. Um, highly recommended. Michael Douglas. I haven't seen Anyone? the game. I don't no, think I have. I bet either. Kyle has. Really? You I, haven't seen it? I, I it lean on you mind. to have seen every movie, man. No, I. I mean, there's big. There's big stuff. There's a lot of stuff I didn't watch or haven't watched. Um, noticeable. I mean, I'm sorry. Notable uh, releases also. Uh, Gattaca. Oh, Con that's Air, so good. Con Air. Uh, Devil's Advocate. Contact. The Postman. Man. Goodwill Hunting. U turn money talks. I mean, I don't know about that shit. All right, I've seen like, all okay. those. So, so those are all pretty fucking good. Um, yeah. I, was, I was talking peak. about. I'm not done. I'm not fucking done. It's so good. <laughs> Face off, gang related, <laughs> nothing to lose. Dante's peak, the devil's own double team with fucking Dennis Rodman. And... Did you say volcano and Dante's peak in the same year? Uh, volcano, no. of course, being the Tommy Lee Jones volcano yes. movie where L.A. kind of melts down, yes. and Dante's peak being the. Uh, the one with uh, Pierce Brosnan and Linda Correct. Hamilton. Correct. It's, um, yeah. Up in, up in like Oregon or something. There's a part in that where this lake becomes acidified by the mm-hmm. eruption. Yeah. And, and it's like now it's acid water, but we got to get across. It comes and we're paddling, but the paddles are melting and the boat's smoking and Granny gets out oh, of waist deep acid. Stop it. And starts pushing the boat and her whole lower body is just melting and she's just like, yeah. And she pushes them forward, and they don't show up. But like her pussy's just eating off and stuff, and she just lays there oh. and dies. Yeah, it's awful. Like yeah, her whole, whole body's just dissolved off. Her yeah, that's Dante's, off. That's Dante's, you know what? Uh, yo, you know what they used to do back then is that they used to, uh, di- two different studios would drop the same concept in different one. Remember, um, yep. twelve, uh, three days, three days later, or the day after tomorrow, the day after yeah, tomorrow, yeah. and they had other. Other ones, but let me finish this fucking incredible year of 1997, year of that I should have graduated. Uh, double should have graduated. <laughs> what happened? Double t- high school, yeah. I got held back so I didn't know how to swim. Uh, volcano. All right, here we go. Murder at 1600. Do you remember that one with Wesley Snipes? Yeah. Batman um, and Robin? Eh. Is the, the I, I get that confused with Passenger 57, which I feel like is also like a Wesley Snipes airplane movie. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, I think we're almost done here, and I, I think I just need to bring Metro with uh, Eddie. Really good. Yeah, I've seen Eddie Murphy. Yeah, Eddie I, Murphy. Eddie Murphy was a huge fucking star back in back in the day. He had those Selena? Beverly Hills Cop movies. Oh, dude, Selena. Obviously, not your. You guys aren't the demographic. Isn't that where J Lo plays that? Yeah, uh, dude. Yeah, yeah. You, dude, you are my fucking man, dude. You know as much about movies as I do. The Jackal, another. So that's Great. where Bruce Willis is uh, a book. Right. He's got this badass gun. I've used that gun system that he was fucking with. It's basically yep. a remote control 50 cal sniper machine gun. Mm-hmm. And uh, Jack Black is like his weapons dude. And he makes Jack Black hold this pack of Marlboro cigarettes yep. up down the creek bed. And he, and he like shoots it off. And I think, I can't remember if he hits the pack of cigarettes first, but 
I think they're like, oh, good, it's set. And then he just blows Jack Black's arm off for the fuck of it. <laughs> it's so hardcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Jack re- Black was uh, in the 90s? Yes. He was Jack 90s? Black's been in stuff forever. Yeah, yeah. Forever. Since a kid. He used to do, uh, he was, he's in kids' commercials, like, or like gack or something i can't remember what like like he's he's oh. been doing stuff forever yeah i didn't know that well why did he fucking shoot jack black's arm off because he's the bad guy he's the jackal he's the jackal oh, he was okay. he was being funny okay yeah. i think we're almost done but li- I-, I cannot believe what i'm fucking seeing because I-, I keep hitting the scroll button and new ones come out are you ready the pest with john leguizamo did you ever watch that that's a it's shitty a- movie I-, yeah, I like john I think i saw that as a kid yeah. yeah, shit, yeah, shit, shit. movie uh, about uh, the the what is it the most dangerous game, uh, the Saint with Val Kilmer. Do you remember that one? Seen that? I like that. It's got. A, is that Elizabeth Shue in there with him? I don't think so. I think it's uh, the the lady from um, uh, Con Air. The same lady, uh, Potts. I think it's sexy blonde lady. Oh I don't no, remember no, no, no. That. you're right. You're I remember right. him. Was it Elizabeth Shue? I think so. Right here. I'm checking right now. Boom, boom, boom. Because he's like, Val Kimmer's putting on all these disguises, and he's like a different, he's always really good looking. Most of, Well, most of the time, though. Like, you know, he's super good looking, doing voices and stuff. Yeah, I, I like he's that movie. now. Yeah, he's, 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 he's not doing so well these days. Did he die? Like, he was in Maverick, but he was all, uh, uh, all you, you, Man, wow, you are fucking on your shit. I am impressed. Um, the Rainmaker with... Uh, Matt Damon. John Grisham's The Rainmaker? Yes, yes. Now, is that directed by... Dude, I am um, so fucking impressed, dude. <laughs> I am so impressed. He knows the movies. <laughs> Just, so you understand the the the, the gravity of 1997 in, 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 in movies, right? Because uh, also, right, also with that, I'm not skipping in, like the ones that are like obscure, I think, uh, but there is also The Rainmaker in Beverly Hills Ninja. Ah, Chris Farley. That's a good one. Whoever the girl is in that is really hot. That's a uh, he's he's uh, I, I owned that on VHS. So I've yeah. seen that like over and over. I could quote that one. Private Parts. <laughs> of course, Howard Stern's movie. Yep. And then uh, uh, Riot Hoodlum and Alien Resurrection. But one. I saw Resurrection in theaters with my grandma. Dude. And to cherry on top to end it all. G.I. Jane. Yeah. Uh, you've got. Um, those big fucking titties everywhere. First of all, you got um, who is it plays Aragorn? Um, Vigo Mortensen. Vigo Mortensen being lieutenant piece of shit, and um, oh, and you've got Demi Moore with her big titties, can't even pull herself out of the water. Going to be the first Navy SEAL. Yeah, it's a fun movie too.